Ah. Drivability zero. <laughs> well, some people like rough. I can think of. It kind of even scared my gimbal. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, comrades! Hmm, it's pretty cold actually, but for me as a Russian, I don't mind. Today I'm gonna show you how one of the processes of Apex Media is coming along and that may... that I... Blah, 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 blah. Um, the process that I want to tell you about is actually uh, the photo sessions. So if you have a car or a bike or anything, even maybe like uh, yourself or your dog, and you want to have some nice photo session with it at the network ring, contact us and we can make it happen. And uh, you probably already seen the results of it on our social media. And today I'm gonna show you more behind the scenes. And today we have a pretty special car. We have actually that amazing crafter over there that I'm gonna show you probably later in the video. But the main hero of today, oh, what a gorgeous dog. Let's have a look. The main hero, his name is Michiel, with the amazing Jägermeister themed E36. Hello. Go. Yeah, so um, underneath the hood is just just an E36 engine, but a little bit tuned, a little bit tuned <laughs> but it's actually what you can see here Definitely. and here, pedal shifts, because it's actually an M4 gearbox attached to an E36. What engine is it? 325 or? It's a 325 stoker. Okay. Uh, we're actually building it now, it's, at this moment has a compression ratio of 12.9 to 1. Uh -huh. Makes around 240 horsepower and after the winter with throttle bodies we're aiming for 300 plus. Wow. But why, why would you, just why? <laughs> um, because we fulfilled the half of the project for half of the price of a sequential gearbox. That's actually, so for yeah. Me, the, the total project is around estimated around 5,000 euro. Uh huh. And oh well, yeah, the sequential gearbox is around 10, 11 grand. So yeah, that's how it's fully customizable and it has a clutch. Oh yeah, so you have a third, yeah, third pedal actually. Yeah, we have a third pedal. We have a clutch. Wow. Uh, with the clutch, you only use it for uh, leaving. Yeah. For shifting, you don't need the clutch, or mm -hmm. to just clutch kick it for drifting or wow. whatever you want. It's pretty cool. If so you up shifting and down shifting, you don't need any clutch. Awesome. Yeah. Well, if you have additional questions, shoot them a DM on Instagram. Yeah. There's no information on it now <laughs> because, because we, we kept the whole project secret. Oh yeah. And you actually are the first guys to see it. That's very cool. Uh, that's why the car is also raw. It just came. We raced it the whole season. Yeah. Uh, manual gearbox. Mm -hmm. And. Um, yeah, so win time. Yeah, and it. for people without any Instagram, they can probably. Of course. Yeah, he tried that. Yes, out. Facebook. And Facebook. And a lot more. So, we're gonna take some interesting shots today of that. And probably go for a small ride and see what's. how it performs. Because still. A <laughs> doggo. <laughs> Kinda even scared my gimbal when it took off. Ah, I can hear some diff action happening. Everyone is here to check out the dog, not the car. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Put the dog, take the dog to the shooting. Let's do rolling shots from the dog. But, uh, let's do the same build for your E46. Same build? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, just put it on four gearbox. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Tim's got time for that. Yeah, Tim, put a DCT box in it. <laughs> <laughs> it fits on any engine, eh? Well, the electronics fits on any engine. <laughs> Tim needs to have a 36. And it has a first pedal. It still has a clutch pedal. It doesn't do anything yeah? with the, 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 the TCU, the transmission control unit, has full control over the gearbox. So what it does, what you do with your clutch pedal is actually just... Um, change the oil pressure on the clutch mm. to leave. At the moment you shift, the computer simulates a signal. So that's that's the idea behind the clutch pedal. So you actually need it to drive away, not to shift. Not to upshift or downshift, doesn't matter. 
Hmm. I'll do the same thing in e 46 <laughs> Tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, well, we actually have two M4s. This is going to yeah. going for two tomorrow, so I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. You can go to two with a special transmission. I'm yeah. sure, sure. Let's get a Team uh, Shimmer uh, mapping. The transmission made in such way that it looks at the engine RPM and the total position sensor to smoothen the shifts, but it doesn't need it. So even if you put it behind a carburetor V8, it doesn't matter, it will work. It will shift. At the moment I say shift, it shifts, mm. no matter what condition. Mm. Uh, of course, there's a shift block and, a, and an ignition cut. There's an ignition cut running to the ECU. And it calculates, okay, if I downshift now, the maximum RPM is going to be 9,000 RPM. No, I don't downshift. And it's all fully programmable just with the computer. Everything is open. Everything is programmable. This is only the flywheels, one and a half kilograms. And this is actually just a starter uh, plate of an M50 automatic, so it just fits. So yeah, one and a half, one and a half to two kilograms total weight as a flywheel. <laughs> light. Yeah, light. <laughs> cool. Nice. Yes. Let's get some shots. Oh yeah. Ah. Ooh, fancy. Here you go. I have a full intercom in the car, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you just follow us to start with. Yeah, of course. And then we'll get a few static shots, and then we'll give some rolling shots. Sure, let's see if the plate is on. Okay. So. I'll go with him so I can see how it functions okay. from the inside, if you don't mind. <laughs> then I'll jump you later, here later on. Right. Cheers! Okay, let's see if I fit in this in our seat. Of course. Uh. <laughs> uh. Race car problems? Oh? No. You don't have like a strap or something to pull it close. Not. I never have passengers. Uh, no. <laughs> nobody nobody yeah, dares to drive with me. No. <laughs> so you actually just finished the project, that's why it's well you finished. One you week make... ago, that's why everything is rough. Yeah. So everything is just in a testing phase. Uh, that's why all the wiring is open so that if we have any problem uh -huh. that uh, we can fix it. Yeah. I also have to Was this the old school uh, SOS system? Um, well, it's actually our new intercom, it's completely Android based. Oh. So we have no range issues at all. Uh, well, that's not part of the car, is it? What? <laughs> the phone. The phone. <laughs> 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 Drivability zero. <laughs> there we go. Flat. That's better. <laughs> Some people like rough, I can think yeah, of. <laughs> you see it here, it's a fourth gear. Oh, you have a shift light as well. It's quite good that it's quite a muted call today, Misha, because it's going to make the orange really stand out. Isn't that right, Bruno? <laughs> Do you want to be in it or not in it? No, I don't want it. All right, hop out then. Sometimes people want to be in it, so. Getting in position, boys. Well, I must say once up to speed, the shift's actually amazing. Just as good as a casual M4. And maybe I have another dream build on my list now. 
Except for getting out of the car. Watch. Yeah. Now photo back, eh? Got film the bag. A real track dog. <laughs> a real uh. track dog. Ah. So what AC are you running? Uh, VEM. It's from the Hungarian AC. Uh huh. Fully programmable. It's just a Bluetooth connection. Really reliable actually. To an Android tablet. So uh, you can see lots of things. Yeah, you can see everything. Right? I can even see uh, if I scroll like this. My mm -hmm. fingers are really not working today. I can even see my things like my fuel map in 3D. And everything. Oh, wow. And if I press enable rotation, mm. you can. If I start the car now, it's easy to find out uh, where the problem is because here the red dot is not really seeable on the camera, but you see that it moves around with the RPM. Yeah. See there. So you can actually check live your mapping, and this is all fully customizable. Whatever you want. Uh, what are it's. A bit like the Torque app actually, yeah. works a bit the same. Cool. So yeah. Nice. Well, thank you very much for stopping by and giving no us the honor of being the first people to <laughs> witness it. Yeah. And we're hopefully in next year we're going to do some laps on the ring then. Let's do it. Because I think that's going to be awesome. You're also going to be competing in the new competition in Holland, Superlap, yeah. right? Dutch Superlap. Yeah. Uh, Something I'm planning. Version, uh, of Time Attack. Yep. Uh, more based on, on autosport, on motorsport, mm -hmm. instead of the, the tuning festivals mm -hmm. where we're driving first. We were champion this year in the semi pro. Mm -hmm. uh, next year we're going for the pro. So let's see what we can do between the 600 horsepower Subarus. Yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, yeah excited. Um, yeah. If you're from Holland or not far away from Holland or you're in Holland on holiday, one of those <laughs> days next year, they start to be announced. Come by, uh, meet Michiel and yes. team. and. Me, because I'll be <laughs> racing as well, probably, yeah. hopefully. Definitely when the Supra comes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's probably some for 2020. But anyway, uh, again, thanks a lot for your company. Thanks for that for being a good dog. Thanks. Come here. Ah. Come. She wants to smell, huh? Yeah. She just wants to smell. Hey. That's is? what dogs do. They've been dogs here before. I know for sure. Lexi, come here. No. We have only cats coming she's, around. She's a bit camera shy, I think. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> she that was the way before that. So, here the Apex, the McLaren. <laughs> you want to rent a McLaren? <laughs> or a dog. <laughs> Good. Good track dog. Good track dog. <laughs> <laughs>